guests can relate to this. Actor and comedian Rob Schneider joins us right here. <laughs> How are you? Uh, great to see you, Rob. Yeah. Uh, finally have you on the couch. Thank you. It's you good used to, to walk be. across I, I, the yeah. street. What's your reaction to Tulsi Gabbard doing what she did yesterday? I, it shouldn't be such a shock. We don't get ten parties. You get two. Right. You know? And I, I, I really feel it. I don't want... I don't want the, the, you know, the Democratic Party trying to run my life, and there's not one aspect of your life that they don't want to interfere with. So I, I had it with them. So I got out of California, I moved to the slightly freer state of Arizona. Slightly. Right. <laughs> well, you, your journey is similar, though. You were a Democrat, and yeah. then you, you have to be in San Francisco. Uh, of right. course. So <laughs> what, given. Yeah. what was it that changed your point of view? Well, I just, I mean, literally, there wasn't, I mean, taxes. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there wasn't one part of, of uh, <clears throat> wasn't, I mean, taxes. <laughs> no, there, there wasn't one part of, of uh, <clears throat> business. I mean, Newsom pushed me over the edge. Right. I mean, it's just like, um, I just don't think your life gets better there. It gets worse. I mean, um, you know what it was? It was like, uh, there was, um, in San Francisco, they said, you had to remove, I was living in San Francisco. I, I had it made there. It's like, it's on the cable car and everything. I had a rooftop. It's, this is the place where I'm going to live forever. And they said, you have to have the toilets removed from your house. And I said, what? I, what? You I don't have toilets in front of my house. Right. It was flower pots. Right. They made me remove all the flower pots. So it just got crazier and crazier. And maybe I'm looking at this all wrong. San Francisco either has a huge homeless problem or a gigantic camping success story. <laughs> 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 you have to look at both what ways. Why did you want to be so bold and so vocal about it? Because uh, Tulsi said, if you don't agree with the Democratic Party, you're trashed, you're canceled. Yes. So absolutely, she's right. Do you worry about that getting jobs? Yes, of course you are. Yeah. As an actor, you're trying to get. You're always coming from a place of trying to get work. But at a certain point, you know, you have to worry about. I mean, I'm in my 50s now, late 50s. It's gonna catch you too, Brian. <laughs> but, no, yeah, I, I worry more about like, um, you know, the freedoms of my kids. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm a grandfather now. Right. And uh, so, I mean, I do. At a certain point, you have to put like, you know, there was a. It's really weird. You know, something's wrong. Uh, when when people say like if you put God and uh, f family and country first, that's somehow controversial. Right? How is that controversial? Or a flag is triggering? <laughs> yeah. So right. I think at a certain point you have to say enough of this and stand up to it. Did and you lose friends? I would say people that don't return my calls as often. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest with you, a lot of people that that I'm friends with in Hollywood, they they lean towards the right, but like they they're just scared of it because it really is like a mob of of ideologues that just just that you feel they will attack you and it's really not necessarily based in anything but like this almost like a religious architecture in their thinking so when it comes to changing party uh, to quote one of your characters you can do you it. can do it 